Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a flight test review, a flight test demo of the Wingsland Scarlet Mini Vet FPV and uh, camera quadcopter that comes equipped with a three axis stabilized gimbal. Let's go over this quadcopter real quick. It's actually a well built uh, quadcopter, feels very well built. Um, again, it has a three axis stabilized gimbal, which means it's stabilized in this direction. It's stabilized in this direction, and it's stabilized in that direction. In other words, pitch, uh, roll, and yaw are all stabilized on this, uh, which should make for a very steady uh, video uh, platform. We're going to find that out today here and actually see. Um, the features of this quadcopter, it has a 51 100 milliamp or 5200 milliamp hour battery, 11.1 .1 volts, that uh, they predict, uh, I believe, 25 minutes of flight time. But keep in mind, carrying the weight of this gimbal and powering this gimbal along with uh, this camera also includes built-in FPV uh, transmitter, powering that also along with telemetry. This also includes a telemetry system, uh, telemetry transmitter in there. Powering all that is going to significantly reduce the flight time. So I believe that predicted 25 minutes flight time is if this quadcopter is flying without carrying this gimbal. But with this gimbal, I expect it to be significantly reduced, probably around uh, less than 15 minutes. So keep that in mind, folks. If you get one of these and you're flying and, and it runs out of juice early, um, it's because of that. Now, even if it does run out of juice, this is supposed to detect that and come home early. Uh, I, or maybe I'm wrong on that. Let me, I take that back. I'm not sure if that's quite, quite true for this particular aircraft. If it does fly out of range, though, it is supposed to come back and land uh, where it took off. So do an automatic return to land if it flies out of range. Speaking of the range, the predicted range of this thing is in around 800 meters for flight control. However, the FPV range also is predicted around 800 meters. But in reality, um, the let me go over the FPV on this. Here is your FPV receiver, and notice it does not have a very good antenna, if an antenna at all, in here. Um, actually, I've seen this already disassembled. Sebi took one of these apart, and the antenna in here is not very good. So the actual reception range of this little FPV screen is significantly less. I'm saying probably about 100 meters max. Now, what does that mean for in terms of this quadcopter? It has a very good camera. Um, you can see it close, you know, close up what the camera is uh, pointing at. What that means is, I believe that this quadcopter is intended for commercial use, particularly for real estate agents. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, not for actually for flying FPV through this cam this uh, little screen. This screen is mainly for aiming the camera. Okay, that's what I feel that this was designed for. Uh, this is not designed as an FPV flyer, but mainly as a uh, commercial camera quadcopter with uh, an ability to see what you're aiming at, aiming that camera. And that's what you do with this. And um, let's go over this uh, transmitter right now. Um, it has uh, three different flight modes. Manual, which uh, is really uh, altitude hold uh, flight mode. GPS flight mode, where it holds its uh, position in space. And a return to, uh, to home, return to landing uh, by uh, flicking this switch down here. Um, additionally, this can do a circle me mode where you set a point in space, adjust the radius, and then um, it'll circle that point in space. Uh, if you want to go around and say a house and do a circle around a, a video of the house from the air by circling around it, this will do it. Also, if you're in normal standard flying, you hit it there, and it also has a headless mode, which you activate by uh, pulling the uh, stick all the way forward toward you. For this flight, I am going to leave it in standard and possibly do a, a demonstration of um, uh, point uh, circling. Um, also, this right button here is for controlling the video. All the way up is for video. Bringing it into the center position activates the menu, the camera's menu controls, which you see on the FPV screen. And bringing it down uh, selects uh, picture taking mode. To actually take a picture or start and stop a video, you press this button upward once, and that will activate the camera, start the camera uh, recording, or also stop the camera recording. To activate or and um, once you've got uh, GPS lock to take off and go into idle, you bring the sticks all the way down and outboard, and the quadcopter will enter idle mode, and then you can take off from that point. Um, and once you land, 
to shut down the quadcopter, you bring the throttle all the way down and hold it down for three seconds, and then the uh, quadcopter's propellers will stop. So that's a quick uh, overview of this controller. I forgot to mention this button back here is a little joystick. B back joystick for your uh, index finger for adjusting the pitch on the camera. It will either raise the camera by pull, pushing up or lower the camera by pushing down. Um, it also has right and left, but that does not control the camera. The right and left is for controlling menu items on this uh, um, menu screen when you select menu. If you want to go to the right and left and select things, you, move, you can move right and left by moving this and up and down also by moving this. That's how the menu items are selected on this screen. So let's go for a flight of the Wingsland Scarlet Mini Vet and see how it performs. This is my first, well actually this is my second flight with it. I already did a flight of Turn of Pinnacles. Unfortunately I forgot to turn on the camera. <laughs> Today I'm hoping to remember to turn on the camera here. I'm going to do a flight out here just to demonstrate its range. Um, um, probably be flying mainly line of sight although I will have the FPV screen operating I am going to include a little cover for the FPV screen with a uh, run cam camera so you'll be able to see what the FPV screen is seeing but again I don't predict uh, much range out of this probably less than 100 meters most of that's going to be static in other words and but I will be recording on that camera on the main camera so you'll be able to see aerial video view from the Wingsland so let's go for a flight of the Wingsland Scarlet Minivet hope you enjoy this flight Okay, to bind this quadcopter, first off, you need to turn on the transmitter, and then you plug in the battery. And you'll hear the beeping as it links up. But another thing, you notice this blinking blue light on the top of the Wingsland here. That means it's trying to acquire GPS. When that switches to full uh, blue, hard blue, it has a sufficient number of satellites to um, fly. It has acquired a sufficient number of satellites, but you can also check the number of satellites by this little FPV screen. And we're going to turn it on right now. And you change the channels until you get the reception from the quadcopter. Okay, I'm all set here. I'm including this little box here so you, you'll be able to see the FPV screen. Um, I have it all bound. Right now I'm going to start off in GPS mode actually. I don't want to fly in manual mode. Um, we do have a GPS lock. Uh, you should be seeing the number of satellites that I got receiving on the uh, FPV screen. I'm going to go into video. And let me open up my box here. Double check that I am recording before we take off. I am going to hit the recording switch. And let me open up the box and double check that it is recording. I see the blinking red light, so we got recording, we're recording. I am going to start my timer. We're going to go for a five minute flight around the area. I hope you enjoy this flight. Starting the timer now. Unlocking the quadcopter. We're in GPS mode. I'm going to take off first. I want to see how stable this is. We'll bring it up to right about there. The thing about this Wingsland is its GPS is pretty darn stable. I got a breeze coming from behind my back and it seems to be fighting it very well. Okay, I'm going back to manual flying by pushing forward. And I'm going to fly, try to fly manually mainly because I think it'll be more steady. But once I get to a position that I want to investigate, I will go and enter GPS mode. Like, let's fly it over here. Off to this area here. And I'm going back to the GPS night right now. Let's see if it holds its position there in space. It seems to be holding its position. I'm gonna remove this black tape. I'm going to, I want to see what it's what it's looking at right now. Oh I don't have <laughs> as predicted, <laughs> there it loses its uh, position um, in space or its uh, FPV signal. But let's try return to home from over there. I'm about 300 meters away. Pressing that button right now. Return to home. Let's see if it comes back home. Seems to be doing a toilet bowl return to home. I'm going to take back position hold on or GPS I mean standard <laughs> go back to GPS position hold and then I'm going to go back to manual position, fly, manual flying again. 
let's go down over here now flying forward I'm flying manual mode I'm gonna come back over here to my position coming down a little bit lower too turning turning pretty damn fast it's similar to the uh, similar to my uh, what do you call it I forgot the name of the thing already CX-22 by Cheerson let's bring it overhead and the reason why I want to bring it overhead okay let it slow down boy it's fast it is fast <laughs> okay I'm gonna bring it overhead and then go back in the GPS mode okay we're in GPS in standard flying now I'm gonna select POI on this upper right switch and then I'm gonna adjust the radius from where it's flying and lower its, lower its altitude too and now it should be flying a circle around my position and while it's doing that let me open up my viewport and see if it's actually can see us oh yeah I'm lowering it a bit hello up there <laughs> it's doing the circle circle me or circle a position so again you know this would be for real estate agents you'd fly over your house that you're trying to sell um, Enter, and, and enter this mode and it will do a circle around that house or whatever your point of interest is again this is mainly intended I believe because of this little screen um, for real estate agents <laughs> but it does have a very nice steady camera on it I gotta admit that by the way what's my voltage I better check here 10.8 volts this is like the second flight I've done with this thing, so I'm coming back to, into uh, GPS hold. Um, it does have headless mode. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I'm not really interested in that. But I wanted to go down into this gully in GPS hold mode. Again, this is my uh, actually second flight with this thing. I am going to demonstrate it some more in later flights, what it can do. I just want to go, in, go down low in this gully and see what's down here. Okay, let's see if it holds its position in space there. I'm going to do a rotate around the gully. And climb again. And we're going to bring it in for a landing. There's five minutes. So again, just a quick first flight, first demo flight of this thing. This GPS seems to be pretty darn good, except that I don't know what that waiver was. Okay, let me bring it over toward me. That beeping you hear, folks, is uh, my timer in my pocket. So, all in all, let me open this up again, see how much voltage I got left. 11 volts, no, it's 11 satellites, 11.2 volts. Here, I'm going to adjust the thing so you can see me here. Hello. <laughs> I'm looking in here. 11.2 volts. Okay, I'm going to land it. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Let's see how accurate a landing it is, how hard it is to land this thing. Lowering it, lowering it, lowering it, lowering it, lowering it. Pretty damn easy. So all in all, this is a pretty good quadcopter. Uh, again, don't expect extreme range here. Make, i got to turn off this camera. Turning it off now. <laughs> don't expect extreme range. You're not going to get it with this little um, uh, antenna that's in here right now, but I did see Sebi mention that you can uh, adjust this or you can modify this and I I might do that for future flights to modify it to include a better antenna the antenna that's got in there right now is just you know it's it's not more than 100 meters 
don't expect more than 100 meters from it. But all in all, I do like it. It flies very stable, uh, with the exception of that return to home. I don't know what happened there, but I'll try that in future flights also. Um, its camera seems to be pretty darn good. So that's the first flight, first look at the Wingsland Scarlet Minivet. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Let me unplug the battery. <laughs> unplug the battery mainly so I can lift it up. Again, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.